Hello and welcome to today's video tutorial. In this video I will take a closer look to the PLA plus filament. We will talk about its properties, applications, advantages and disadvantages. I will also talk about the composition and the components of PLA plus filament and how it differs from other filaments such as PLA, PATG and ABS. At the end I will explain about post crystallization of PLA plus filament and the advantages of this process and how it works. But what is PLA plus filament? PLA plus filament is a thermoplastic filament that is increasingly used in 3D printing. Unlike conventional PLA filament, PLA plus filament is modified by adding additives to improve its properties. Most PLA plus filaments is made of polylactic acid PLA and modified by adding additives such as ABS or polycarbonate to improve its properties. PLA plus filament is biodegradable as this is made from cornstarch, another popular renewable raw material for the production of PLA plus is sugar can. PLA plus filament is an improved version of PLA and has many advantages over conventional PLA as well as other filaments such as PDG and ABS. The most important advantages are, among other things, an improved stability and strength compared to conventional PLA filament as well as a good printability and high detail accuracy. It also tends to warp less than other filaments, especially for example like ABS. PLA plus is also slightly more flexible and not quite as brittle as PLA filament and easy to handle as it can be printed also at low temperature. It is biodegradable and more environmentally friendly than most other filaments due its compositions. PLA plus can be post crystallized which results in higher impact of strength and impact resistance or higher temperature resistance. Overall it has good mechanical properties and allows high printing speeds. It is well suited for printing complex on detailed objects. PLA plus is more sensitive to humidity than PLA and is available in a wide range of colors. Heat resistance is also said to be slightly better than PLA like I said. And this is exactly what we are testing now. First, I printed an ABS holder to put my test objects down. My test objects consist of PLA, PDG and non-post crystallized PLA+. They have a slight stiffening structure on the top as well as a small grid to be able to place a whitening ball on it. Off with it in the oven. Of course, it took quite a while for the oven to get up temperature. Test setup number one. PLA in front, behind, PLA plus and finally PETG. Let's heat it up and see how quickly it will soften. Yes, and meanwhile you can already see a very slightly deformation at the front of PLA. Which is why I went back to it with the thermometer to measure the temperature because I like to know where exactly that happened. It was of course interesting and we see now a temperature of 62 degrees Celsius. Let's take a look at the whole thing because I think it will go relatively quickly now. Yes, and now the deformation is becoming more and more visible. PLA at the front continues to decline and now PLA plus also begins to slip. So everything in around 62 to 65 degrees Celsius. In order to be able to rule out unequal heating zones in the test setup, I swept the order. Now PLA is in the back, then PLA plus and on the front is PTG. We have 57 degrees Celsius and I start time lapse now. And we should also to be able to recognize a sagging. PLA sags, PLA plus shortly after, PTG remains stable. As with any other material, there are some disadvantages to PLA plus filament that you should know about. Here are some of the main disadvantages of PLA plus filament. It has less heat resistance 
compared to other filaments like ABS or PETG and can supposedly yellow faster outside when exposed to sunlight. Compared to PLA, PETG and ABS, PLA plus filament is improved in many aspects. It offers higher strength, stability and impact resistance. PLA plus filament is also more environmental friendly and biodegradable unlike ABS which is not biodegradable and contains petrochemical materials. Compared to PETG, PLA plus filament offers easier handling and probability at lower temperatures while PETG has higher impact strength and water resistance. ABS on the other hand is known for its high heat resistance but it can use unpleasant odors when printed and requires a heating printing plate for best results. The post crystallization of PLA plus filament and its advantages we will talk about now. Post crystallization is a process in which PLA plus filament is subjected to a heat cycle after printing to further improve its properties. This process results in a higher impact strength and impact resistance of the printed object. Post crystallization can be performed either by heating the object in hot air like oven or by immersing it in hot water. The benefits of post crystallization of PLA plus filament are improved mechanical performance and stability of the printed object. In the test setup after post crystallization we see over 120 degrees Celsius on the thermometer. Unfortunately the result is somewhat disordered. The reason? My ABS blocks have softened and bonded slightly to the PLA+. It wasn't planned that way, but it shows us one thing very clearly. PLA+, has beaten PLA and PETG and even remained reasonably dimensionally stable while ABS already started connecting to the PLA+. We can see how soft the ABS is in my finger test. Ouch! Hot. Look at the PLA and I'm totally amazed by PETG. No more dimensional stability anymore and PLA plus is still a kind of stiff. Unbelievable. I wouldn't have thought that. How do I print PLA or also PLA plus? Basically neither PLA nor PLA plus urgently requires a heated print bed. To ensure good adhesion at all times, I print about 60 till 70 degrees bed temperature. Even if you can print PLA faster, I print at least on bed snuffers, <laughs> but rather leisurely to be able to achieve the desired quality. I print the material at about 200 till 250 degrees. Also with PLA+, plus, it's recommended to set the fan to 100% to cool down the part as quickly as possible. PLA plus filament offers many advantages over traditional PLA filaments and other filaments such as PDG and ABS. It is stable, easy to handle, biodegradable and more environmentally friendly. It is well suited for printing detailed objects and offers the option of post crystallization for improved performance. PLA plus filament is a good choice for many 3D printing applications. I hope this tutorial was helped for you and you learn a little bit more about PLA plus filament. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Happy printing. Bye.